Tired of the T-bone? Sick of sirloin? Here's the best cut of steak you've never even heard of. If you're a meat lover, chances are that few dishes appeal to you more than a perfectly seasoned, expertly seared, and patiently rested steak. Whether your cut of steak is a beefy sirloin, a classic ribeye, or pretty much anything else, it's fair to say there's little better in the wide world of food. It is juicy and delicious. Typically, when you think of cooking steak, you consider hot and fast methods such as a short and sweet sear in a skillet or a quick trip to a rip-roaring hot grill. Most of the cuts you're familiar with should be served no more well done than medium rare, of course, to fully enjoy its meaty flavor and preserve those delicate juices. But did you know that steak can be slow cooked, too? It all depends on the cut you choose, and one less well-known one is an ideal candidate for this method, the underblade steak. As you might have guessed, this cut is sliced from under the cow's shoulder blade, from the same area where we get flat iron steak. Long ignored by butchers and consumers alike, the underblade steak has been making something of a comeback as the beef industry has pushed butchers and supermarkets to offer more value-added cuts. These newer and different kinds of beef cuts were first promoted to sell more of the cow and therefore enable processors and marketers to earn more from each animal. Value-added cuts typically contain a little more fat and connective tissue than more conventionally desired ones and can be less tender, too. The underblade steak is no exception, as it's usually a bit chewier than nearby steak cuts such as the flat iron. Still, it's a versatile piece of meat when properly trimmed of excess fat and connective tissue. So what makes underblade steak so useful in the kitchen? Well, one thing this cut has going for it is that it can be quick cooked either by being grilled, broiled, or seared in a hot pan. But unlike most steak cuts, the underblade takes just as well to slow cooking. This cut will maintain its integrity through the low and slow cooking process. The Croc Watcher. While it's doing your cooking, you could be doing other things. Even better, underblade steak can be braised in all kinds of different sauces. For example, Hotel Grand Pacific recommends an aromatic mix of onion, garlic, celery, carrots, red wine, and beef stock. Meanwhile, The Spruce Eats suggests tossing underblade steak into a slow cooker with sliced onions, creole seasoning, and flour for a tender, beefy result that creates its own gravy as it cooks over seven to nine hours. Want to give underblade steaks a go? If you can't find them in your supermarket, you might want to check out your local butcher shop, where it might be labeled Beef Chuck Underblade Center Steak, making for a mouthful in more ways than one.